Search some biomes, find some herbs, and brew some eyebrow singeing medicines, because today we have another Day R video. If you want to learn about how to effectively and efficiently get the most herbs to make medicines in Day R, then this is the video for you. Medicines are not only helpful for survival, but they can now be traded to the NPC camps for a decent amount of currency, which can get you other items that you really need. So in today's video, I'll first discuss which biomes the different herbs and mushrooms are found in, how to gather them quickly, and then give you different tips depending on your situation. With all that being said, let's get into it. So herbs and mushrooms are very important to have to make all the different kinds of medicines that you need to survive in the harsh wasteland. The problem that we all face is that they can be pretty tricky to get in large quantities unless you know what you're doing. So the first step for us is to become familiar with which biomes we can find each of the herbs in. As you have been seeing, the different biomes have a variety of different herbs, and I'd like to point out that the radiation swamps and radiation forests are my favorite because they seem to drop more herbs per search, and they also drop strange mushrooms, which we'll further discuss in a few moments. But before then, I'd like to explain the basics of how to effectively herb and then go into some tips and tricks after that. What you want to do before you start herbing like an absolute madman is to make sure you get the Herbalist 3 perk, which increases the amount of herbs, mushrooms, and berries collected by 150%. Along with this, you'll want to make sure to eat a cabbage roll before herbing because it'll give you an additional 50% yield for 36 hours. Cabbage rolls aren't too hard to make, and the recipe can be seen here. Now you want to pick out a place to herb, and what I recommend doing is to make a camp on the edge of two or more biomes. This is because, as you can see here, I can herb from two different biomes while only being in one camp, which cuts down on the amount of herbing bases you need to make. I also recommend making a brick house in biomes with radiation, or at least some sort of perishable item storage, so the herbs you find won't rot as quickly. Now, when it comes to herbing, energy is the most important thing to look after. Each time you search, it uses up 4 energy, so making sure that you have items to instantly restore your energy is key when trying to gather bulk herbs and mushrooms. The easiest way to get instant energy, I think, is from things like energizing potions, coffee, and even tea. As you can see here, energizing potions are pretty easy to craft, they give you a decent amount of experience when you craft them, and oh yeah, they give you 100 energy as well. You can also use Lydia's side which gives 150 energy, but it's a little bit more complex to craft. If you're very serious about herbing, you'll also use Medicaine while searching because it adds 5 energy every hour. One last energy boost you can get is from Yellow Mushrooms which give you 300 energy but it also gives you some radiation, and these can be found in the radioactive biomes. Some other tips to look out for are the weather patterns each week, because there is one weather pattern that makes you collect 50% more herbs, and there's another weather pattern that makes you collect 50% less herbs. So just be aware of that. One final tip is if you're an older player, you might have the cotton wool beard, this allows you to absorb incoming radiation at the expense of food and water in your bars above. This can be very helpful because it allows you to herb in radioactive biomes without the need for a brick house, but more importantly, the faster your hunger goes down, the more apples you can eat, and apples can give you 4 energy each. I know this might be a little too detailed for the casual player, but if you combine all these tips from this video together and use them, then you're gonna have tons of herbs in no time and will be crafting lots of medicine, which, you know, also gives you experience as well. Now, remember to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see some more videos because unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. If you wanna see more videos in the same playlist, then check out the link down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.